Well, greetings and welcome to a Canine Companions delivery flight. Now in this video, of course, this is a fictional flight of myself delivering some dogs belonging to Canine Companions, which happen to be Labrador Retrievers, raised from puppy, you know, to adult age of the dog. And they are, of course, service dogs. And today's flight, of course, is a fictional flight from Duke City to All-American City, using a Japan Airlines 747-200. Now, of course, the reason why I choose this airplane is because I have a criteria for fiction. And a lot of the airplanes on infinite flight, you know, are currently, and of course, the colors are actively being used. Now, before I go into the video, one thing I also want you to know is that some of you, especially because I'm a 90s baby, might be thinking, hey, did you steal what was mine? I'm like, no. Guess what? You know, even though I have autism, I love sleeping with plushies. And of course, especially because of any all, each and every possession you had since I was little, guess what? I found out what they were later. I've been studying toys since I was in third grade. I knew what they are. I make money. And guess what? I've been making money, you know, for almost six years now. Actually, eight in total. And of course, of that money I made, I chose to make the choice and purchase those toys that either you currently have or still have. Tell you what, you know, there are things I like other than airplanes too, and they happen to be animals. And in this flight, this is what, exactly what we're dealing with. This is a canine companions delivery flight. So in this flight, a lot of the canine companions animals are being spoiled with a Japan Airlines 747-200. And the reason being is because I have a criteria for fiction. And all right. While we're at it, these are these toys I'm talking about. And this is a sample of what some of the animals were like while it's occupied with the upper deck. Yes, I like Scooby-Doo too. And the reason why Scooby-Doo is there is mostly, you know, to keep demons off as much as possible. And yes, those labs have names. This is Bones. A yellow lab. Yellow. This is Noar, a black lab, but he's very poodle-like. But oh well, I love him. And this is Shaho, my chocolate Labrador. Yes, a lot of my friends, family, and acquaintances have these Scooby-Doo plushies and pillows. And guess what? I actually paid for all this out of my own pocket. So as of right now, I imagine the animals are in the upper deck of the airplane we'll be using. And we will begin. All right. So now the engines will be really loud, so note that I'm not mad. Those who are wondering what all the sound is in the house, I'm not mad. It's just that I just got to be heard while we're at it. Okay, so we're going to make sure the control surfaces are free so we could go from Duke City to All-American City. And now here we are, still checking the control surfaces for free movement. And as for my Civil Air Patrol officers who are watching this video, guess what? I'm still practicing leadership to this very day, as well as any all, each and everything you had taught me from glider encampment, as it was called, back in whatever years I went. Yes, here we go. We're checking the control surfaces to make sure it's free. Now you might ask, why are you using a Japan Airlines 747, Boeing 777, and MD-11? Just to name a few, which I'm thinking to make right now in these videos. Well, it's because Colorado and Japan are just like each other. And as of right now in real life, it's not a good idea to go to Japan because her communist neighbors are definitely starting something right now. So I could only give you something that's in close resemblance. For example, like, did you know the Jurassic Park movies were actually not filmed 200 miles west of Costa Rica? They would either be filmed in California or in Hawaii. All right, so now, of course, while I'm at it, making sure the control surfaces are free, I'm going to go and say things like, hey, if I have an engine failure before V1, I will land straight ahead. I will close the throttle in real time coming from. If I have an engine failure above V1, I will either come back to the Duke City Main Airport or land at the old Coronado Airport. Which, by the way, is not visible in this game, but I know where it is. I know how the kitchen looks for really well. Alright, but in this video, we're going to Montrose, Colorado. 
and of course maybe difficult to get the plane in but it's possible reason i have a criteria for fiction and a lot of the airplanes that are used in real life to go there are actively being used and the colors are actively being used so i'm keeping this as fictional and fantasial as possible by the way while i'm at it as for the q academy folks really sorry for the video i had made it's just that i was making it clear to my computer throwing errors at me while i was playing fsx saying that i really did not want to attend that school and by the way those other students you know, who are putting spells on me to make those errors happen with my computer guess what your spell has been broken and oh yeah here we go now taking off and we're headed for all american city from duke city or people call it Rose. And now, of course, I have not decided on a name for the video. And, of course, talking is very hard. That's what's the holdup of making these videos, is that they're a lot of work. Talking is hard, and coming up with a name for these videos is hard. So if you want any requests or anything like that, please let me know in the comment box below and or send me messages, and I will attest to that as best I can, because as of right now in real life, being an airline pilot in real life is probably not a good idea because, you know, I'm hearing a lot of things like a lot of the pilots, you know, they willfully bet and next thing you know, they're broke. And I don't want that, especially in a place outside of Duke City. So that's why I'm being an actor for now. And that's why, of course, I'm using a passenger plane to transfer full of canine companions dogs, which are Labs and Goldens. So as of right now, we're flying over Duke City, we're zooming in the neighborhoods, and of course, zooming in, that's El Dorado High School, Eisenhower Middle School, and S.Y. Jackson Elementary School is well hidden. And of course, the area where S.Y. Jackson is, I call it the Bermuda Triangle. And my code phrase for S.Y. Jackson is Atlantis, because it's like the lost city of Atlantis. And while I'm at it, here we are, still flying, and of course I actually like Infinite Flight better, even though I have to have a paid subscription for it now, because, you know why it's worth it for me to fly an Infinite Flight? Duke City doesn't suck at me, but what's that thing to be all day? I will find it, whatever it is, as well as any other thing that we want to be able to here, so, we really have to fly the plane. Okay, then if you want to try one person, just waiting to see if you can get with my eyes closed. By the way, we're going to see a slideshow in this video. And of course, in my fictional world, I am also a Zero pilot, is why I'm flying the Japan Airlines 747, as you can see here. And, of course, I like flying the Zero because... You know, as of right now, it is decided that me and Japan are friends now, okay? The reason why I like Japan now is because I admire their tenacity in doing any, all, each and everything. And, of course, you're supposed to have tenacity like the Japanese would do. Like Zenji Orita in the book I Boat Captain. How do you think he got into Etajima? <clears throat> you want to be as good as Zenji Orita. I mean, I'm not as good as him, but I try to be. Not to compare, but... As you can see, he probably, you know, had to do well at Etajima before he could, of course, assume duty in his eye boats, as well as, of course, command the Kaiten to do some things. Now, of course, the reason why I like Japanese stuff nowadays is because, you know, I am also a Christian, and it's my favorite thing to contend for the gospel, Japanese things. All right, note that I took days at a time recording this video, and that's one thing I like about being an actor airline pilot, a pretense one is because, look, as you can see here, you could take days, you know, recording these videos, and you don't have to spend a lot of time straight while you're recording this video. And, of course, while I'm at it, you know, I actually went to bed the night before is why I stopped recording at a certain time. And now, in this video, we're headed towards All-American City to drop off the Canine Companions dogs. And of course, I'm making do with what I have here, especially on Infinite Flight. I wondered how I could make some things as fictionally as possible. So 
I went ahead and chose this Japan Airlines 747-200 to be used as a transporter for canine companions dogs, as well as some of their trainers and some excellent cargo. Believe it or not, actually, the cargo on board are actually very awkward things, but in this life, you can't really do much. Of all weirdness in life, you really can't do much about it, so... I even learned in Civil Air Patrol that you have to do weird things to succeed. So I chose this Japan Airlines 747-200 to, of course, preserve the integrity of the word fiction. Because the real reason why I did not use a C-130 or C-17 in this video to deliver the items is because they are actively used. And, of course, the colors are actively used and they lack appeal. You get what I mean, right? <clears throat> anyway, about what I said, you know, about the Japanese, you know, and their tenacity in helping me contend for the gospel. That's why I like. And of course, God, with all due respect, if you're waiting for me to give up my dream of becoming a pilot, well, tough luck with that. You know why? Because just like on Zenji Orita's account, why you should let me at least be a private pilot is because, you know, I like the Japanese tenacity, you know, when they use their tactics and of course their airplanes to attempt to take over the Pacific. How about use modern technology in these things while we still have them? To be more effective. And by the way, in this video, it's not a please you, but these dogs were actually a prayer by somebody in Montrose to come. So we went ahead and brought them via Japan Airlines 747 to try and supersede whatever that person prayed for. Now, how I got to do this, and of course, fulfill the request is because I admit it. Of all the TV shows and movies, I like, I like war, action, western, Shakespeare. And of course, I remember an episode of Full House where Rusty, of course, made a love letter, but unsigned. And you know what he did in that episode, right? For those who watched Full House, when Rusty made that love letter. But this time, though, we're going to do something like that, but we're delivering dogs from canine companions. And of course, we're making sure that they're treated with care. And spoiler alert... Since this is my fictional world, other Zero pilots are on board too, and not to mention that I-Boat crews are on board too, and of course Kempe Tai is also on board. You heard that correctly, the Kempe Tai is also on board. Now the Kempe Tai, however, will ensure that order is maintained as the dogs are delivered to make sure no one fights over the dogs, for one thing. This is where we'll need the Kempe Tai the most. Or at least I retrained the Kempe Tai to be good in my fictional world. Alright, now the dogs right now in the upper deck are not just enjoying themselves, but also, you know, they're roaming around the jet. So, of course, get the skills needed from canine companions. And this flight was also part of their final exam before being handed off. Note, this is fictional and it's not real. Canine companions, if you don't like this video, or want any modifications done please let me know in the comment box below and of course i will of course appeal to your request as best i can and not to mention that i am bringing you those dogs as best i can right now you know to montrose that is and of course giving you an example and of course future concepts of what could be done as far as delivering canine companions goes. And here we go. We're about to land in rows now. And of course, I'm going to discuss the landing procedure. And as you can see here, we are, of course, reducing power, things like that. And of course, if I miss approach, I will go around. I will land, str I'll land straight ahead as usual when I land. And of course, if I, if I can't make it, which I did not in this video, this is what happened. You know, I will wait till the next day or something like that to record again. And not to mention that I am, of course, trying to land in Montrose. And that's one of the things, you know, why my flight simulator videos take forever so far is because I don't know what to make. Talking is hard. And if you could please, you know, suggest and or request 
I would like that so that way I can make better videos and of course whatever it is you want to see I'll make it for you as best I can that's right now I'm reducing power landing and now of course I am about to land and here we go we're in the cockpit and we're going about all these views to deliver the canine companion dogs requested by others, especially in all American cities. I don't know who requested them, but this is fictional. And of course, I'm trying to make this content for entertainment and entertainment only. And of course, for the civil air patrol officers who taught me how to make do with what you have, this is what I'm doing here in this video. Is, you know, I really felt like making a fictional flight of delivering canine companions videos to Montrose, but, you know, I have a criteria for fiction. That's why I chose the Japan Airlines 747200. And part of that criteria for fiction is, you know, it has to be either in old colors and or a plane used from before. Now, there might be a video where I'll use a 747400, but just not something that's actively being used right now. The reason why is because, you know, I was also in Project Search, and of course some film crews went to visit us at UNM Hospital for the same reason why you can't use Coca-Cola all that much. And of course... Sometimes you might have to make things up, like, for example, Oceanic Airlines is a popular Hollywood airline. American Pride is also another Hollywood airline, as well as, of course, American Travelways Airlines. Fictional, of course. But this is, of course, a real airline here, but just in older colors and older model. Now, another spoiler alert that... This Boeing 747 here in my fictional world came from Tokyo Narita a few days ago, but stopped in LAX for repairs, also to load up the canine companions, and of course take them to Duke City to pick up another set of canine companions, trainers, and another set of Kempe Tai, and then from there head to all American City for delivery. Oh wow, landing's very challenging here. So, what I have in mind here is that there's going to be a slideshow in this video. Now, of course, landing here, you know, is very difficult as usual. So, you might have seen earlier in the video when I got around Telluride or so, I opened the spoilers to flight. And then from there, I went ahead and just opened the spoilers and it went down. And then it started descending. So as of now, we are landing. And we're headed for one of the north-south runways in Montrose. Or at least I think. Now just bear in mind that if you see the airplane off the runway, you know, it's just that, you know, it's big. And of course, I was making do with what I have to the best of my ability. Now, of course, this is a peaceful video, but just trying to preserve the integrity of the word fiction as this flight is. And why I make such a fictional video is because, you know, this is a concept, you know, that can may and of course will be done. I, I'm also demonstrating to my Civil Air Patrol officers that I'm learning how and of course I'm continuing to practice making do with what I have. And this would be using a Japan Airlines 747-200. Now of course it's a great honor and privilege for me to be in a leadership program called Civil Air Patrol. And this is what they taught me to do. And of course this is where a lot of the good people come from. Because, you know, they make videos like this. 
course they play flight simulator games, make fictional scenarios like this, and of course they tend to do better later and or get a decent grade somewhere. Well, you know, I'm trying to be one of the best leaders there are, especially in my unit. And of course, this also goes to canine companions as well. What do you think? How do you think, and what do you feel about Japan Airlines Boeing 747-200 transferring your dogs, you know, from one place to another? With their trainers, of course. That's why I very respectfully ask and wonder. Any member of Canine Companions know? Or if you don't like it, let me know and I will remake this video to something else. Or if there's anything you want me to say and or do better, let me know. So because even though I have autism, I'm open for corrections. And of course, I will accept the corrections and of course appeal to them as best I can. And not to mention that, you know, I'm not perfect. And of course, when someone corrects you about something, you better accept it. Which I do. And spoiler alert in this video, we're going to miss the mark, so... Enjoy a slideshow. When we get to that scene. She'll be right around here. Because, you know, believe it or not, it doesn't matter what position I'm, I'm in, whether I'm laying down with my iPad or iPod Touch making this video, but I could also be standing up or even sitting. And then from there, as you can see, I missed the mark. Oh, wow. Looks like the airplane's diving like an Aichi D3A valve, almost. The dogs are on the way. Hold on, we're really here. Can you believe it? Can you please believe the fact that your dogs are here? Just stand by, we just need to land and all that good stuff. There's a slideshow, here's Duke City, schools I went to, as well as of course, some other part of the Duke. And of course, Coronado Airport. And of course, leaving Duke City to go to All-American City. wonder what tower that is. Maybe that's the old Coronado Airport. We'll have our Pueblo of some kind. And then from there, we're going here. And now, we are flying here over some valley of some kind and still some more of that Pueblo. I think that's Price's Dairy. The tower that is that caught the plane. And now we are, I think behind the Sandias as you can see here. Yes, when I was playing FSX, I am also a zero pilot, as you can see here. At least in fiction. And as an actor, I'm also a zero pilot. The zero is actually my favorite airplane in this phase of my life because, you know, I admire its tenacity, things like that. If there's anything good I used the Zero for, it was for this reason. To bring the canine companions to all American City. And to be honest with you, I actually honestly feel survivor's guilt, you know, for some things I've done wrong or failed to do with the Zero. But it's a blessing that I'm able to fly this Japan Airlines flight from Duke City to all American City. And of course, I have multiple Koku ties, you know, in my fictional world to help with that. And of course, you heard that word correctly. I have multiple Koku ties to help. I don't know what to say and or do better. Please let me know, so. Okay, after some time of waiting, after a burnout from an attempt to land or whatever. Here we are. We're landing in All-American City, but it's going to be a rough one because of the fact that it's up there, higher altitude, more moist, more cool. 
And yes, I did ask for landing aids. That's the beauty about flight simulator is that you can ask for landing aids from your settings. 500. Here we are, we're landing. And now, let's fly through this. And now let's, let's go through here. And now let's land. But how though? In the earlier attempt of landing in this video, you know, I, of course, flown it like an Aichi D3A valve. Now, like diving, which is also another one of my favorite airplanes too, the Aichi D3A Val, that is. Perhaps that airplane, you know, from Pearl Harbor, that looked like Tracy from JJ the Jet Plane, which I think is a cute plane. I think Tracy from JJ the Jet Plane is a cute airplane, don't you think? Yeah, I think so. One hundred. But this is not an Aichi D3A Val. This is a United 50, States made Boeing 747 but 20, under a Japanese 10. operator's name. Oh wow, that landing was rough. We're gonna land. Ten. Of course, we took runway three one. Where is it in North South runway? Oh. Now we are landing here, and of course. But we're not on the runway. At least we're doing one thing. Serving my community, state, and nation. As stated in my Civil Air Patrol Cadet Oath from before. All the control surfaces are stored. Now what's left to do is taxi the plane over to the ramp. And of course, all personnel on board assume your positions. And while we're at it, this could be the first video I made containing a Boeing 747, not counting a Lockheed C5 Galaxy I made in my FSX videos. Because I will admit it, in my FSX videos, I thought my computer was going to be better, but it turned out it was not. Well, I gave it time. That's what I did. So right now, in this phase of my life, I'm going to be doing infinite flight, most likely, as well as X-Plane and Aerofly. And if you want to see anything, if you see me do anything, just let me know in the comment box below and I'll send me messages and I will, of course, appeal to your request as best I can. Because, you know, this channel here is also my job. And I want the job. I want to make wages off this channel. I want to be monetized. And oddly enough, I also have another YouTube channel, too, I want to be monetized off of. And, of course... Yes, I really want to be monetized here on these YouTube channels because what I'm doing on these channels is very much needed. And of course, I see it as beneficial to my community state and nation. And here we go. We are, of course, attached to the ramp. And of course, good imagination required in this video. Because when I get to a parking spot, can you imagine, of course, stairs being brought to the airplanes or whatever? To the airplane, as well as, of course, the K-9 Companions being offloaded, as well as the Kempe Tai. This happens right about now. The airplane will come to a stop right here. And now, of course, I think it's what's left to do is set the parking brake somewhere. And we'll have to do a stop. No visible buildings there, but... Alright, we can move the plane somehow. Doors open. Here come the dogs. And the stairs over there. Also, here come the Kempe Tai as well. Now the Kempe Tai is directing any of these other living organisms where to go. And of course, what's left to do is, of course, landing walk around which is something you're seeing here ship use julia alpha 8162 and now we're walking around seeing if any damage was done to the plane 
If those were physical buildings, then yes. But, you know, I felt rough. I chose to return. You know, that's all fun. Or the physical buildings in the area were golden. Now, of course, thanks in advance, Canine Companions, for letting me make this video and giving you ideas of some concept transports. And although this airplane may be like really big, make do with what you have. And make do with what you're given. Above all, I make this video to prove that it is therefore possible to transfer some canine companions to and dogs via the camera on Ford 747, especially the 200. And now, let's go to one more thing and debrief. Alright, one more thing and debrief. I actually took multiple days to make this video because, you know, I have a life and I do other things too. Now, of course, I'm going to conclude the video by saying that this is fictional and this is just a leadership and, of course, transport concept. If, for some reason, you know, Canine Companions urgently needs to transfer its dogs and its trainers somewhere and you're given a Japan Airlines Boeing 747-200, use it to the best of your advantage, which is something I did in this video. Otherwise, we're coming up on saying that is our show. Thanks for watching. See you here around if you like please like and subscribe and one more bonus this video does in fact contain affiliate material and i'm part of the ebay partner network to name one source and if you choose to take home an item such as a model of the airplane used in the video i may earn some money known as a commission which could help me make better content and of course help me get back into playing fsx sometime again really soon otherwise thanks for watching Enjoy the rest of your day, or whatever. And of course, let requests be made known to me. Thank you.